1978, Sadat and Begin arrived at the US presidential retreat, Camp David, Maryland, to begin peace talks, with US President Jimmy Carter mediating. Sadat had broken the United Arab Front against Israel and angered Arab leaders. He was now in a sole position to emerge from Camp David with a deal. Begin, on the other hand, had nothing to lose and could use Sinai as a bargaining tool for peace without having to give back Gaza, the West Bank or Syria's Golan Heights. 13 intense days later, Egypt, Israel and the US came to their first agreement, a framework for the conclusion of a peace treaty between Egypt and Israel. The agreement lays out the terms for the 1979 Egyptian-Israeli peace treaty. So what exactly did it entail? Israel agreed to withdraw troops from the Sinai Peninsula in return for Egypt's recognition of the State of Israel, access to the Suez Canal, a major shipping routes, and a demilitarized area along the Israeli border, the Philadelphia Corridor. Since talks began, Sadat and Bergen clashed when it came to the issue of Palestinian self-determination and the status of Jerusalem. Israel rejected Egypt's insistence on withdrawal, especially from the West Bank and Gaza. Instead, all parties established the Second Agreement, a framework for peace in the Middle East. This would establish some form of autonomy in the West Bank and Gaza during a five-year interim period, followed by the possibility of Palestinian sovereignty after the interim period ended. Jerusalem was not mentioned at all, and history has shown that nothing came to pass after five years. The PLO rejected the agreement, as it had been negotiated without Palestinian representatives. They argued that the vague framework, which did not specify the future of the occupied territories, legitimised Israel's occupation, and it would allow Israel to continue building settlements in Gaza and the West Bank. Sadat found himself alone and ostracised. Other Arab leaders were in disbelief. The Arab League's headquarters were moved from Cairo to Tunis in Tunisia, and Egypt was no longer part of the League. 